When using power supplies for mounting and adjusting radioelectronic equipment, it is desirable to have equipment with built-in load current protection circuits. In many respects, they help you to deal with complex elements of adjustment processes when you assemble a radioelectronic construction, regardless of how complex the circuit is. If your power supply unit doesn't have a built-in safety component, then a simple device called an electronic safety device might help you. This device can be either placed directly into the body together with the power supply source, or used as an additional electronic attachment. The circuit does not contain hard-to-find components. It uses high-power transistor of the KT829 series with any letter, two field effect transistors KP303 or KP307 acting as stabilizers, the 2U107 transistor. In this particular case, I use the KU112, a variable resistor of 2.2 kilo ohms or 4.7 kilo ohms and two LEDs. Electronic safety device operates as follows. In the initial state through the transistor KP303 T3, a current of 8 to 15 milliamperes flows, which does not change if the output voltage of the power source changes. The green LED lights up, signaling that the load current flows through the circuit, and the voltage drop across the transistor T2 will not exceed 1 volt. The load current value at which the safety device is activated is set by the variable resistor to about 5 amperes. After the fault in the load is eliminated, the circuit is brought into the initial state by switching the SB1 button which, when a short circuit occurs, cuts off power from the trinister and closes it. The trinister T2 opens at the current, goes to the load. It is advisable to install a transistor to T2 onto a radiator. The resistor R1 must be of wide type. The minimum operating current is adjusted using the resistor R3. The color of LEDs is at your option. The circuit is practical and doesn't require a complicated adjustment procedure when it is made. In addition, it is assembled using well-known, use-proved electronic components.